What is good guys, G Miners here. I'm sure as of now that most people are aware of the new Eager Edge perk that can roll on the half truths and the other half legendary swords. The perk currently allows players to sword skate similar to the World Line Zero exotic sword, but is much easier to use and works for multiple skating techniques. The only thing you will need for this to work is the Eager Edge perk on either of the two swords. The sword itself has no impact on the performance of your skating speed. And personally, I like to run backup mag for some extra reserves. We are going to be starting off on the Hunter, but if you want to skip to your favorite class, just drag the video progress bar along to the chapters I added below. I also wanted to note that the Hunter and Warlock both have skating techniques, which allow them to hit max speed in the game. Currently, the Titan does not, but the regular sword skating technique happens to work best on Titan. For those who do not know, Eager Edge provides you with a huge speed boost if you swing shortly after pulling out a sword. You have roughly 1-2 to two seconds of swing before the perk goes away, and after using the perk there is roughly a 4 second cooldown before it can be used again. The cooldown does reset while holding the weapon. The two techniques you can use on Hunter are Shatter Dive Skating and Regular Skating. Running the Stompy's Exotic Leg Armor will also make you go much further. First, for Shatter Dive Skating, you will need to be on the Revenant Hunter subclass with the Shatter Dive Aspect and Triple Jump. For this technique, you will need to do three things. One, start on a ledge or elevated surface. This will not work off of a jump or flat ground. Second, you will need to run up to the edge of the ledge or surface you have chosen. Before you reach the edge, you will need to pull out your sword and heavy attack off of it. Lastly, immediately after your heavy attack, jump and activate Shatter Dive at the same time to send your player flying at max speed. Timing your jumps will provide you with the most distance. If you are having trouble doing this, try heavy attacking, jumping, and Shatter Diving all at the same time. These need to be pressed within a few frames of each other, so you might just find it easier to mash them. For the regular skating technique on Hunter, you can use any subclass. Most people find that Strafe Jump works best for this as well. For this technique, you will need to do two things. First, jump in the air and while doing so, pull out your sword. When you are at the apex of your jump, swing your sword to go forward. After this, you will need to immediately put your sword away. If the sword finishes the animation, you will lose momentum. To make this skating technique effective, chain strafe jumps together and use Eager Edge again after it's cooled down to get more momentum. When it comes to Titan skating, the only major thing you will need is Lion Rampants. These add a ton of extra jump duration, especially when using Catapult Lift, which you should be running for this technique. The other thing that I find super helpful on PC is binding your jump to scroll wheel. You can bind it to scroll wheel up or down, it makes no difference, and you can also use spacebar for regular jumps. By doing this, you are able to quickly turn catapult jump on and off in order to tighten skate slowly. Just like with Hunter, if you combine this with a sword with eager edge, you can skate extremely fast. For this, you will need to do three things. Once again, first jump in the air, and while doing so, pull out your sword. When you're at the apex of your jump, swing your sword to go forward. After this, you will need to immediately put your sword away. If the sword finishes the animation, you will lose momentum. And lastly, if you're on PC, you can chain Titan Skates together to continue your momentum. If you're not on PC or you choose not to Titan Skate with Scroll Wheel, you can simply ride your jump out and still cover a large amount of distance. To my knowledge, controller players will need a rapid fire or macro controller in order to Titan Skate. If there's any other way to do this, let me know in the comments below. Lastly, just like for Hunter, the Warlock also has two skating techniques. These are the Well Skating and Regular or Ick Dash Skating. Transversive Steps makes both of these better. For Well Skating, I like to practice in the first encounter of the Garden of Salvation. If you mess up, you will burn your super, so practicing here allows you to drop Rally Banners and get your super back. This process is the exact same as Shatter Dive Skating, except you will use your Well of Radiance super instead of the Shatter Dive aspect. Once again, the three steps are as follows. 1. Start on a ledge or elevated surface. This will not work off of a jump or the flat ground. 2nd. You will need to run up to the edge of the ledge or surface you have chosen. Before you reach the edge, you will need to pull out your sword and heavy attack off of it. Lastly, after heavy attacking, activate your super and your jump at the exact same time. Activating your jump again will allow you to stay in the air. Holding your grenade will allow you to float longer and go further. If you are having trouble doing this, try heavy attacking, jumping, and casting your super all at the same time. These need to be pressed within a few frames of each other, so it might just be easier to mash them all at once. 
The second Warlock technique uses Icarus Dash and Jump Cancels to burst you forward and continue the momentum of Eager Edge. For this, I recommend binding your jump to scroll wheel down, just like the Titan technique, but this is not as necessary. The steps for this are as follows. One, jump in the air, and while doing so, pull out your sword. When you are at the apex of your jump, swing your sword to go forward. Two, immediately put your sword away. If the sword finishes the animation, you will lose momentum. And third, wait until you hit the ground to cast Icarus Dash. After this, Continue the momentum by chaining Warlock jumps with scroll wheel or normally with your spacebar. If you are not aware, Ick Dash will cancel your momentum if used normally and only propels you forward slightly. To work around this, once in the air from a normal jump, press jump again to activate Burst Glide, followed immediately by Ick Dash to go further and increase your momentum. Overall, this video has a lot to unpack and I try to do it quickly to keep this video short. Links to my previous, more in-depth guides will be in the description. Comment below with any questions you have and good luck learning this new form of skating. Peace.